Hey everybody and welcome back to a brand new tutorial. We're going to be modeling in Maya 2019 today and we're going to be creating an industrial type control panel with the knobs, lights, switches, levers and so forth, right? Here we go. This video has been made possible by BenQ. If you're a digital artist in need of a professional monitor, then check out the link below. Okay, everybody. Well, after a number of weeks of ZBrush hard surface uh, tutorials, it's time to do another Maya video. And today we're going to be creating a, um, a control panel, industrial control panel. Now, if you don't know what that is, it looks something like this. So basically what you see in factories and whatnot, but you can also use this for a sci-fi panel if you want, right? So that's what we're going to do. So let's get that out of the way. We're not going to follow any reference. We're just going to wing it. And uh, that said, let's get started. Okay, so we're going to start with a simple polygon plane. And um, there he is. We're going to hit Control A to open up the attribute editor. Let's go in here. Set that to one by one for now. All right, select it. Hit R. Scale it up so we can see what we're talking about. Make it longer until we're happy with the overall size of, let's say, one door, right? Something like that. Okay. Now, um, what we're going to do next is we're going to go in and add some edge loops. So, we're going into Edge Tool, Insert Edge Loop. Let's go in two. Let's add two right there. Hit R and pull them out, and we want to have a fairly uh, small part at the top and at the bottom, and that's for air vents. Uh, panel doors like this, they create a lot of heat inside, and they need to get rid of that heat. And typically, you're going to have those in areas where you don't need to be, which is the absolute bottom and the absolute top. Okay, So let's uh, leave them there. And then let's see. Um, I think I'm going to do two manually or just, yeah, I'll do that. Okay, so go back in, set that to manual. Uh, I'm going to have one fairly small down here, like this. Then the main panel would be about at eyesight, and then we'll have one up here, which is fine. Okay, we're going to queue on a keyboard, and then I'm going to take these guys. And we're going to go to edit mesh and the bevel, fraction. 0 0.05, make it nice and small, that's fine, okay, yeah. And then uh, we're going to leave it at that. We're going to go in here, we're going to double click on the entire outer edge, hit Control E to extrude, W to push down, let's get rid of this, let's push that down like so, all right. And I'm thinking I don't need those faces on the side here because they can be panel to panel, well maybe a little bit, so let's do this, all right. Let's hit Control E again. Let's tweak the uh, thickness, which will push that out like that. Okay, that's a good panel, nice panel. All right, good boy. Okay, so what we're gonna do next is we're gonna go in here. We're just gonna take that one at the end, and we're gonna go in here and take that one at the end. We're gonna hit Control E again. We'll hit W to push them down, All right? Now, the one in the top is gonna be the top of that whole thing. The one in the bottom, however, we need to tweak that one. So we're going to go back in, just take that one, push it out to about there, hit Control E again, hit W, and move it out. Okay. So if this were our panel, we'd hit E to rotate it, flip it upward like that, right? And this would be sitting next to a wall. This would be, I think it's called a kickboard or something like that. Let's make it a bit... Um, like that okay and then that would be the top that would go all the way to the wall so you would have something maybe like that and then if this were an end uh, control panel you would have a side here as well or a wall or something right okay so now that we have that let's go in here and we're going to go into these guys i'm going to take one two three and four and five okay so we're going to uh, control e to extrude let's uh, tweak the thickness just a little like so and then we're also going to tweak the offset and that would be let's say 0 0.2 let's try that and let's see what that looks like yeah that's fine all right okay so we've got a panel going on and like i said if you want you can then start to copy these over and so forth 
Now, let's start with the essentials. We need uh, vents for heat, we need switches, we need buttons, we need sliders, we need rails, we need all of that stuff, right? So let's get started. So I'm gonna take this guy, hit W, move it over a little bit. Let's start with uh, screws, okay? So we're gonna take a polygon pipe, after frame on that. Hey, that's not a pipe. Go, go away, go away, go away. There you go, pipe. Yeah, we're going to go in here. We're going to set that to a subdivision level of five, which is fine. That looks all right. And then we're going to go in and take a polygon cylinder and we'll set that to five as well. And then we'll hit R and we'll scale that in. And then hit W and pull that up. Now, if you have a face restriction and you don't want to have a poly count that's too high, we're just going to get rid of these, right? So we've got one here too. Come on, play ball, please. And there you go, right. So I'm going to select this guy. You can go in here and if you want to make it really fancy, you can go in here and go to edit mesh and bevel. Right, and then set a fraction to let's say 0 0.1. And as you notice, I'm not too concerned about poly count in this one because it's more about having fun modeling and not about the practical use of this at this point. And if you do have an application for it, obviously keep that in mind, right? Okay, so 0 0.15 maybe. Alrighty. So we've got one of these, we're gonna go in here, we're gonna select it, we're gonna to go to mesh and combine, and then we're gonna to jump to our top view here. And there's our panel, and let's see what my orientation is. Okay, we need to lie that thing down. Hit E, hit J, woo. Don't be like that. Come on. All right. Okay, so now that we have that, we're gonna go in here, we're gonna take this guy, we're gonna hit W, we're gonna move it up to about here, I would say, F to frame that. Let me just keep in mind what's what, right? So um, it looks like this is the bottom part here, and it is, yeah, we need screws there too, but I just like the orientation to be different. So hit E to rotate and flip that around like so, okay? And then we're gonna go back in Take this guy, scale it down, obviously. After frame, that'd be about right, okay. And then what we're gonna do is we're gonna take this guy and we have the pivot in the middle, hit W. We're gonna hold on X and we're gonna get it in here. And we're gonna do that for a number of reasons, uh, mainly because when we start adding stuff, it's much easier that way, right? Okay, so we got that. We're going to take this guy, and then what we'll do is we'll start in the middle, like so. Then we'll move it up, holding X to about there, and then we'll start to move it over like this, and again, holding X, right? Now, we are going to have a rail there, so let's not go too far. Uh, we've got one there, still a bit large, I think. All right. So we're gonna hit Control D to duplicate, W to move, hold down X, snap onto the middle, and hit Shift D. So they're absolutely symmetrical. We've got three of these. Okay, we're gonna hit Control D to duplicate, and we either want them on every panel, which we could do, and then we get something like this, or maybe just in the top and the bottom. Let me just have a look and see what that looks like. Okay. Now, first of all, I'm going to select all of them. Deselect like this guy. And we're going to raise them up a bit. So we can see what's going on, right? And I think that's enough for now, okay? Right, so next one is rails. We need rails because typically these panels are built on rails, so you can grab those handles, pull them out, replace them with new ones and so forth, right? So how do we do that? Well, we'll take a uh, polygon torus. Let's jump into the top here. 
We're going to right click, we're going to get a face, we're going to drag select, get rid of the half, like that, get rid of everything, yeah, there you go. Then we're going to go in here to edge, we're going to double click on this guy, go to edit mesh and bevel, so we've got an opening there, right? And then we're going to go to vertex, so we're going to drag select all of this, and we're going to hit W, and we're going to move that out. And then we can extend that, you know, to any length we might need, right? After frame that, let's go in here. We're going to hit E to rotate, hold on J, so it's facing down, like that. Then we're going to go in here, we're going to go to Edge, double click. Uh, okay, and we're going to hit Control E to extrude. R to scale out, G to repeat, W to push up, G to repeat, R to scale out, G to repeat, W to push down. Okay. Right, so we need to copy that over and um, yeah. I think the easiest way is just to go in here, right click, go to face. Should have done that before, but you know, get rid of that. Take this, Control D to duplicate, E to rotate, hold on J, flip it around. Like that. Select both. Let's go to, let's make this a clean lineup. Let's go to Mesh and uh, Combine, and then we're going to go to Add Mesh and Merge. Yeah, so it's now one thing, and then we can adjust accordingly, right? Okay, so we got this guy, we're going to hit E, we're going to flip it around like so. We're going to hit R, we're going to scale it down quite a bit until we're happy with the proportions. So let's start at the top here. That's over there, yep. Yeah. After frame that, we're gonna move it over. And let's be consistent. Let's start from the middle line, hold down X and snap it over here. So we've got equal distance left and right. Okay, so that is okay. And then we're gonna go to vertex and we're gonna bring that up because we want it on the inside of our panel, obviously. Let's push that up a little bit more and then we'll check the height. And looks like we're crossing two here, which is easy to fix. Sometimes it's kind of hard to see, but you know, it's okay. All right, so happy with that. Let's go to Modify and Center Pivot. Control D to duplicate. W to move, hold on X. And there you go. Now we want these all the way down. So hit Control D to duplicate, W to move down. Hold on X again. We've got that going on. Then we're gonna go to Vertex. So we're gonna drag select this. Maybe bring that down a bit more, like so. We're gonna go to object mode, we're gonna select these two again. Control D to duplicate. Bring that down, right click vertex. Bring it down to here. Object mode. Control D to duplicate, bring that down to here. Right click vertex, drag select, bring it back up to here. Control D to duplicate once again. And there you go. Right click vertex. Okay. So we got rails and on all panel on, on, on all our panels. Alright? Okay, cool. 
Okay, so now we have that. Now let's look at vents. How do we create air vents? Well, we're gonna go into our modeling tab here. And let's just uh, go back up. Here we go. We'll take a plug and plane, pull it out here, control A. Let's really open. Yep, there you go. Let's do, um, let's see, one by one. And we're going to go in here. We're going to hit R. We're going to scale it out like this, maybe a little bit like that. And then let's see. Um, Okay, six. Yeah, we've got six going on there. All right. After frame that, we're going to right click, go to vertex, drag select these are vertices. And we're going to W and we're going to push that up like that. Okay. Now, when you do that, you'll get some funky business here, right? So open up the modeling toolkit, go to your multi cut tool, go in here, connect this guy to this guy hit enter and go in here and take that guy to that guy and hit enter okay much better Q and a keyboard now you can go in and give this some thickness if you like you don't have to but you can control E so point zero one just so it has some thickness to it right okay we got that let's close the modeling toolkit so we've got some space here let's jump to our top view after frame Let's hit W and move that in here. Hold on X. Bring it all the way up here. After frame that, let's bring that down to about here, I would say. We're going to control D to duplicate. Move one over there and control D to duplicate. Hold on X while I move it. One over there. Okay. So we've got one, two, three. We're going to control D to duplicate. We're going to bring that all the way down. Down here. After frame, let's look at the position. Looks good. Let's check the height. As you can see, they are down here. All right, let's get in close here and make sure the position correctly. All right, so we got our vents. Now, what do we need next? Uh, how about buttons? Okay, so buttons to push. Now for that, we'll take a uh, polygon cylinder. We'll uh, pull that out here. After frame, let's go in here. Let's set that to eight. Let's take the bottom caps here. Hold down a right click and face. Hold your tab key and get these and delete them. All right? Then we're going to right click to the edge. Double click. Let's pull that up to about here. We're going to control E to extrude. Let's uh, tweak the thickness a little bit like this. Let's do 0.2. We're going to hit G to repeat, W to pull up. Come on. Control E, W to pull up. G to repeat, R to scale out. G to repeat, and W to push down. Okay. Then we're going to take the top here, edit mesh and bevel. And you can go in and set three subdivision levels. And if you want, you can go in and smooth this guy. Just go to mesh and smooth and you'll get something like that, right? Okay. All right, so we're gonna go back to our top again. Let's put them in somewhere. Let's hit W, let's uh, bring that in. After frame. Okay, and we want a decent row of these and maybe on multiple panels but what you don't want is for them to be too large that wouldn't make sense right so hold on x snap it there let's do a nice row up here let's hit r and scale them down quite a bit 
after frame again. Okay, so we've got one there. Control D to duplicate, W to move over. Hold down X like that. Hit Shift D to repeat that. Okay, let's see. That looks like a good lineup. Let's uh, select them. And then what we're going to do is go to um, modify and center pivot. Hang on. Mesh combine first. Modify, center pivot. So we can now hold on X. And now we're smack in the middle, right? Perfect. So we'll go up a little bit. And if you have buttons, you need to know what the buttons are for, right? So let's raise these up to the correct height. Like that. So what we need is labels. Labels telling us what's what. So that's pretty simple. We'll take a polygon cube. We'll pull that up like so. After frame, artist skill down, make it nice and thin. Pull it out a little bit. Let's make it a little bit fancy. Take the outer edge here. And it mesh and bevel, it looks cool. We'll take that, we'll jump in here. We'll hit after frame that guy. Where are we? Right there, all right? Tell you to move it up, hold on X. Okay, in order for us to have all of these next to each other, this needs to be a bit smaller. So let's bring that up to about here, I would say, right? Control D to duplicate, W to move over. And we will have to adjust that a little bit. What it can do though is, hold on feel like that. Shift D, Shift D, Shift D, that should be okay. Take that one, Control D to duplicate, W to move over, hold on V, boom, and Shift D, Shift D, Shift D. And because we set everything centered in the middle, it's pretty easy to do, right? Now again, uh, let's see if we need to adjust anything height-wise. And I'm pretty sure we need to. Haha. <laughs> okay. Yeah, there they are. Mm, all right. Okay. Down, 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 down. Hit five on our keyboard. After frame that. Let's bring this in. And there you have it. Let's have a closer look. After frame. And what I'll do is I'll turn this guy on so we can see how close we are all right <clears throat> cool so now we have that what about gauges okay again pretty straightforward we'll take a cube we'll pull it out here we'll hit r to scale that out like so then we'll uh, kind of squish it like this and we'll go in here we'll right click get a face get rid of the bottom face Go to the top, select that face, Control E to extrude, tweak the offset, bring it in a little bit. And once you've done that, what you do is you go in and right click and go to edge, take that edge, hit W, move it up to about here, I would say. Yeah. And then we're going to right click, go into face, take this face, Control E to extrude, W to push down. Very easy and very straightforward. No fits going on there. Let me turn off the uh, yeah, the AO. So we've got this, and this we can use in multiple ways. So we're going to go in here, and we're going to start by moving it up here. Let's hold down X. Let's snap it. We're going to hit R. We're going to scale it down. And then we'll hit W, hold down X, and move it up. And we can need to decide where we want these, right? Let's create some groups. So I'll do one here and then uh, control D to duplicate. And I'll do one here. Okay, so we've got a set of two. And then I'll go to mesh and uh, combine. Hold down X, move them to the middle like so. Control D to duplicate, W to move, I'll hold on X and move them to this side. Yeah, it looks like I'm going to turn out with six anyway, right? Okay, that's all right. And then we'll do the same here. That's the thing, if you're just winging it, you kind of have to uh, 
you know, backtrack sometimes, but I think it looks kind of cool. All right, now that we have that, what we can do is obviously make sure we've got the correct height. And if you want, you can go in here and put additional labels on it and whatnot, right? But we're not going to do that just now. But what we can do is we can take this and we can uh, duplicate it. We can move this down. And I'm thinking about adding some screws to the top panel here. Control D to duplicate. Move that down to the top. I mean, it's a pretty big panel, so we'll hold on X. Let's control D to duplicate. We'll hold on X. And yeah, I'm thinking about the others. Yeah, I think we have to do it. Control D. Control D. That one I need to have a look at. They're pretty close to the bottom there. And then just to be consistent, we need to have them on the others as well. So we'll take these. Control a D. Control D. That might become tight. Actually, yeah, I think it's okay. And then one more time, Control D and move that down. And in case you think it's a bit crowded, you can just drag select this bring that down just a touch right I mean the whole idea here is when you're doing something like this the more small details you have the better it looks right so let's go back to these guys what I'm gonna do here is I'm gonna kind of scale them up a little bit right they don't have to be all the same size it will just break things up a bit so I'm just gonna go in here and let's just hold down X let's see how far I want to be out with this Okay, and I will hit Control D to duplicate. We'll hit W to move it down. Hold on X, and hit Shift D. So we got something like that. Now, what always looks cool when you do something like this is to add um, switches, right? So not not buttons, but you know, switch switches. Okay. So let's do that. All right, so how do we do that? Well, uh, let's see. Um, we're gonna do sliders first, okay? So uh, we'll take a cube, we'll pull that out, R to scale, pull it out in this direction, push it down a bit like so. We're gonna go in here, we're gonna rectally get a face, get rid of the bottom face. We're gonna take the top face, Control E to extrude. Let's tweak the offset, bring it in like this until we got this nice thing going on here. Control E to extrude, W to pull down, and just delete it. Okay. Then we're going to go to the outside edge, double click all the way around, add a mesh and a bevel. 0.2 looks okay. So we've got that, right? And then we need kind of a handle to move up and down, right? So what we're going to do is we're going to take a polygon cube. Hit W, move that out like this. We're going to hit R, we're going to scale it up. We're going to pull it out like so. Right? Let's go in here. Right click, go to edge. That one and that one. Edit mesh and a bevel. Now be careful, that will create an end gun here at the end, right? That you need to deal with. A uh, number of ways you can fix that. Um, what I'll do is um, I'll use the um, modeling toolkit, the multi cut tool. Go from here to there. Hit enter. Uh, let's see. Go from. Actually, this is a way easier way to do this. Let's hit Q on my keyboard. Let's go in here, take these two faces. Take that and go to edit mesh and poke. 
And as you do that, you now have triangles, right? Which is fine. We'll go in here and let G to repeat and poke. Okay. So now that we have that, let's get this guy into proportion. So we're going to hit R. I'm going to scale that down. And I want the outer limits to be in line with this guy, right? So right click vertex, drag select W. And then don't do that. That looks fine. Just some on the inside on that line right there. Okay. We're going to go in here. We're going to select it. We're going to bring that up like so. The whole thing might be a bit big. So I'm just going to push it in like this and push that down. And then we want a uh, kind of a, uh, a thing in the middle there. So we're going to go to into edge loop option box. Still set to two. There you go. We're going to hit R to push these two together. So it's a nice fit inside. And then I'm going to right click and take that face. Control E to extrude and W and pull down like that, right? Okay. So we have that. That's going to be our slider system or switch system or whatever you want to call it, right? Uh, it's looking okay. So we're going to drag click this. I'm going to hit Control G to group it. Turn off the modeling toolkit. Go to my top view. All right. And I'm going to go to uh, modify and center pivot. We're going to move this in here. It's way too big, of course. So I'll scale that down. After frame. And uh, let's see. I want at least two of these. Still a bit big, I think. All right. So let's bring that up to, I would say, about there. And then we'll do control D to duplicate and we'll push one down and align them basically with the switches here as close as you can. So bring it down a little bit. Now, keep in mind, we don't want these to be in the same position, right? So I'm just going to put this one up here and this one down here just to break that up or maybe up here somewhere, right? Okay. Now let's look at the position, make sure the height and everything's okay. And it seems to be so we're getting closer to where we need to be guys All right so what's next uh, handles handles and labels okay and a handle is not too complicated what we'll do is we'll take a polygon um, cylinder here uh, let's see is that what we want to do yeah that's what we want to do am I sure yeah I'm sure okay all right so we got that we're gonna go in here we're gonna set caps to zero and then we're going to go in here and we need to clean that up, of course, but let's set this to eight first. Well, maybe 12, 12. Okay. So we got that. I'm just going to jump in here to the top after frame that. And what we're going to do is we're going to first take out the bottom face. Get rid of that. And then on the top, we're going to start to create that thing. So we're going to go in here, modeling toolkit. Take the multi cut tool and we're going to start to connect this up. So one and two and hit enter. One and two, enter. All right, so now that we have this guy, we're going to have to frame this. So hit Q on the keyboard, right click, go to object mode, hit after frame. So we get that, right? And what we're going to do is we're going to go in here, right click at a face. So we're going to hold down the tab key and we're going to take these guys, right? We're going to control E to extrude, W to pull up, like so. Okay. We're going to hit R. We're going to push them in like this. Let's take these two faces one, two, three, four. Control E to extrude. R to pull out and on one end you want it longer than the other ends that's fine we're gonna right click go to vertex we're gonna drag select these guys and we're gonna hit W and we're gonna pull that out here right now this is too high obviously so let's bring that in like so and then you might want to tweak this shape a little bit so you can go in here and hit R and kind of push it in like that if you like 
and then you're gonna go in here and basically do the same on the other end by selecting this and pushing that in right and then if you want to go crazy fancy you're gonna go up here to edge not that one that one the outer edge so that edge right there and go to edit mesh and bevel all right okay we'll call this guy done so we're gonna go to object mode let's go in here let's hit after frame that let's hit w to move it let's bring it in here after frame this guy's way too big of course so scale this down we're gonna hold down x while we move it okay so let's set a row of these guys so we're gonna have one here Control d to duplicate hold on x we'll do one there and then we'll take both of them Control d to duplicate w to move down and we need enough room to move the actual switches right so we're gonna hit shift d and we're gonna work our way down That looks about right. Okay, and then you wanna make sure that your pivot points are correct on all of them. So you can go in here and you can, for example, hit E to rotate and move this guy up a little bit. We'll move this guy down a little bit. You don't want all of these to be facing the same direction, right? That doesn't look correct at all. So let's push that one down. Let's put that one up, put that one up at least so we have a little bit of variation going on there right now let's check the height here of these guys okay so there they are we're gonna have to frame w to move up nope i got a little bit more selected than i was wanting to yeah don't want to select that there we go All right, now we have that. Uh, one thing we can do, which I think will look uh, better, but also make more sense, is we're gonna select one row. We're gonna move that over just a bit. We'll select the other row, move that over just a bit, not too much. And then we're gonna take one of our labels up here. Control D to duplicate and push that down because if you got all these switches going on and you don't know what's what how are you going to remember right okay so we're going to put one in here and actually as a reference yeah this is all right so we're going to control d to duplicate w to move over so we're going to have one in both positions like so select them both Control D to duplicate, and then we're going to pull that down, and then we're going to hit Shift D, and I'm just going to hit Shift D all the way down. Now I will have to adjust them in height because that's never perfect, but at least I got you know I got something that's close that I can work with. So I'll take those, push that up, take these. Push them up a little bit. And as you move further back up, they start to be positioned better. That one is not bad. That one's good, All right? Okay, uh, let's see. Let's select these guys, including that one. Let's select these guys, including that one. Just make sure I got nothing else selected, and I don't. Hit five, and we're gonna go in here, and we're gonna turn on my ambient occlusion so I can see what's going on. And we're good. Okay, 
So we're starting to get there. So we've got all that going on. Now we've got one more setup here um, that we need to, to address. And I'm just going to have a quick peek on my other screen there, or let's maybe just bring it in so I can see what else we could put in there. Let's see, we got um, other handles, we got cards, we got buttons, we got slides, we have, uh, let's see, how about one of these? Yeah, that's kind of cool. Okay, we'll do one of those. All right. Or maybe two or three of them, okay? So yeah, how does that work? What we're gonna do is we're gonna take a uh, polygon pipe. Let's uh, bring that out, okay. After frame that, we're gonna go in here, we're gonna set the thickness to 0 0.2, which is kind of cool, yeah. We're gonna go in here, double click on that edge. Let's go to edit mesh and uh, bevel. We're gonna go to the bottom here. Uh, let's see, I uh, don't need those faces delete those I do need the interfaces so we're gonna leave that alone I'm gonna go in here go to edge double click on this control E to extrude let's give it some thickness G to repeat and W to pull up G to repeat R to scale out G to repeat W to push down and R to flare it out like that okay now we might need to bring the top down a bit. So select the vertices, push that down like so. And then we need some kind of switch dial type thing in here, right? So let's take a cube, let's hit W. And just to get things nice and centered, I'm just gonna use my grid here for a sec. So I'm just gonna hold on X and boom, put it in there. After frame that, there's my cube, right? Okay, so I'm going to hit, select the cube, hit R, we're going to push that into about there, and then uh, pull that out like so. And let's see what we got. we got everything else going on here, so now I can take them both. Hit W, push it back out, after frame. Okay, so let's make this thing look a bit more interesting we're gonna go in here we're gonna take these two edges uh, edit mesh and uh, bevel which will again create end guns on the sides so we're gonna go to edit mesh and poke and G to repeat and let's bring this down a bit so it's in well actually it has to be well in we're gonna put it in there right and we're going to kind of simulate like that inner ring is something that turns. I think that'd be cool. So what we'll do here is go to Enter the Edge Loop, Option Box, Multiple and One. And as you do that, it will be centered like this. You can then go into the top. Let's get rid of this. Right click, go to Vertex. You can grab these. And we're going to hit R. I'm going to push them out like so. So let's see what that looks like. Nope, I'm not gonna do that. I'm just gonna leave it like this, it's fine. Okay, so now that we have this, we're gonna put this in place. Uh, let's uh, drag select both, All right? Let's go to mesh and uh, combine, there you go. And then we're gonna go to our top. We're gonna hit W. Let's move it down here after frame. Let's hold down X and snap it to the center right there. Let's hit Control D to duplicate. W to move over and hold down X. So we've got one here, potentially one more. Yeah, that's fine. And then we'll hit Control D, W to move, hold down X, and then Shift D, one more. Same here, what you want is to rotate these guys. So we're gonna hit E and we're gonna hold down J and we're gonna Kind of change the position of these you don't want them all facing in the same direction right okay let's do a final check on the height all 
Let's hit W to pull up. There you go. And now we have a control panel, right? Now, the thing is that you can take this whole thing, right? And let's go to uh, mesh and combine, right? You can hit E, you can hit J to rotate it upward like this. And of course, you don't want all your panels to be the same, but if you have a line of these, right? So let's go in here. Let's hit F to frame, we'll hit W to move it, and then we'll hit the insert key. So we can move that pivot point to the bottom there. Hold down the V and snap it. Hit the insert key again. Control D to duplicate, W to move, right? And hold down V. So you got one panel. Hit Shift D, Shift D, Shift D, and you got a bunch of panels. So now if you go in here and have a look, And I can even go on, shift D, shift D, shift D. You would have a whole bunch of panels. Now, like I said, you don't want them to look identical and all that, but this is how you do it, okay? So uh, let me know if you've got any questions. Thank you so much for watching. If you didn't hit that subscribe button just yet, please do that, you would make my day. And that said, thank you so much for watching and see you guys next time, bye. Came from the mud There's